In this video, I walk you through how you can personalize your LinkedIn URL. So when you set up your account on LinkedIn, LinkedIn give you a random collection of letters and numbers for your username. But it's much better if you customize and personalize your username for three reasons. First of all, it's personal to you. It's great for printing and publishing on things like leaflets, flyers, business cards, because it looks neater. And thirdly, it actually enables you to show up in LinkedIn search results more prominently. So this is how you do it. So you visit your profile. You can see that we're on my profile here. And on the right hand side, it says public profile and URL. So what we do is click on the pencil symbol there and we can now edit the custom URL, as you can see here. So once again, I'm going to click on the pencil symbol. Now, this part of the web address is editable. So what I suggest you do is to try your forename and surname, maybe put in a middle initial if that doesn't work, uh, or last resort, sort of finish it with uh, perhaps letters or numbers, but just something that is a uh, personal view. Now, it's worth trying each of those options and clicking save afterwards. Now, if you click save and it works, you'll get confirmation briefly below and you'll see that it actually saves up here. So you're all good if that has happened. Now, if for some reason that you don't see your um, going back here, you don't see this link here, you can access it in a different way. So you can go to contact info, click on the pencil symbol here, the editing symbol, and then click on this link and it'll take you back to the same place here. So let's just double check that that actually works. So I'm just going to click on the address in the address bar, make sure that that's my address there, click the return key and hey presto, we are on my profile here. So if you are logged into LinkedIn, you get a logged in view. So indeed, you can see that I'm uh, I'm logged in here. If you're accessing it outside of LinkedIn or you're not logged in, then you get this public profile view. And you can see that that's what this looks like here. Now you can customize this public view using these slider buttons here on the right hand side. So you can see mine is pretty much public, but there's various degrees of privacy that you can enable there. And they will affect what information, what details on your profile show up in things like Google search for example. So a great idea to change your custom URL and it's not too tricky a process to do it.